So today I'm going to show you how to set up your UCT, you know, Leica UltraCut microtone. Um, there's quite a few adjustments on here. Some are a little trickier than others. So first of all, the base of the entire thing moves using these two pegs down here. Just rotate it, and you can see the the uh, blade move next to it. So you can see it move the entire thing side to side. Then you can also rotate it to a you know a certain degree with these. It's very slow adjustment, but it gets there. Very 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 slow. All right, and then to adjust the angle on the blade itself, you know the forward and backward angle, you loosen the knob on the right, this one here, and then adjust it with the knob that has the degrees on there just like that. Sometimes it'll stick a little bit so you gotta put your finger on here just add a little bit of weight and then you know set it to the degree you want and tighten that back up. If this is tightened you can still turn this but as you can see it will not move. Alright and then your blade obviously comes out with that knob there. But simple. If the blade is too tall you can take out the little guy here and then you'll have a deeper section to put your blade in. Okay, so that's it for the blade holder. Then you have your adjustment on the angle of the um, specimen clamp. It's pretty self-explanatory. You adjust that. If you want to spin it, you can do it like that. You put your specimen in there, tighten this, and that's it. Um, yep, okay. So that's it for the adjustment of the specimen clamp and the blade holder on the microtone. Then we have the controls on our controller. You have return speed for when the head is retracting, cutting window. Um, with the cutting window, if you look on the hand wheel, you'll see different numbers here, um, and it's it's uh, you could if it's within those numbers that's where you can set up your cutting window. Um, so you would watch the, the specimen as you're, you're uh, turning your hand wheel and you'd get to the bottom of the specimen and then you would hit your your uh, cutting window uh, start button then you would go to the top of the specimen and you hit your end button. So that's that. You have your speed you up and down you have your feed. You can adjust these manually. There are certain uh, programs already in the machine. You hit the button twice to select it. Different uh, thicknesses and speeds. You have the course feed, which has to be the hand wheel has to be within the cutting window, and you're going to watch your your blade approach your specimen as you use the little hand wheel little finger wheel here and you can see that it is moving forward slowly but it's it's very precise with the little finger wheel so you can watch it through your through your scope and approach your specimen that way and if you look in front of the uh, blade holder you can see that there's a little triangular uh, I should probably move that eee little triangular uh, thing to tell you how far the this the uh, blade holder has to travel so we're going to go ahead and bring it back once it reaches the bottom it'll stop and then if you've made cuts that's see that's the end of the travel if you made cuts you click your click and hold your reset button and then it'll retract back to the home position you have different lights on the illumination. Yeah, this one lights the top light. Then you have the bottom light from underneath. Then if you have the optional uh, uh, light in the back of the specimen, it would be the middle button there, but we don't have that on this microtome. So that's it for your controls, uh, how to use it. Um, and that's uh, that's the end. <laughs>